It's 924, and it is never too early to start thinking about summer camps for the kiddos. Kate Baumgartner is here from <laughs> Indianapolis Moms to talk about some of the most popular camps for the summer to consider. And it may even be a little bit too late in some cases. But you want to start thinking about this early. We do. And I tell families sooner rather than later. Yeah. But registration has opened for a lot of these camps. But just because it's open doesn't mean a lot of these camps are filled. We have lots of options for you. So what's one of the first ones that we're talking about? So the YMCA summer camps, great camp. They have over 13 locations. So you're going to find a location near you. <laughs> Ages 3 all the way to 15. They also have the Flat River Rock location, which is overnight camp if you're kidding. Oh, interest nice. in that. But what I love about the YMCA camps is their focus is really on fr building friendships and relationships and just having a really memorable summer. You also, Camp Cathedral is another popular one that people yes. go to a long time. And I love this one. They have over 50 different options you can choose from. So you have your arts, your crafts, your theater, your music, all of that. But what I love is if you want to do something different every week, you have an option to try something different because they have so many different options you can choose from. So if you want to do sports one week, sign up for that week. Or if you want to do you know, theater the next week, that's a great option. That's huge, too, because if you have kiddos, you know that they're often changing their minds on what they Absolutely. want to do. Absolutely. And each kid is different, so it's <laughs> yes. always important to have those things. Uh, what's the children's house? I love the children's house because it takes me right back to my childhood. Yeah. <laughs> I grew up, I was the camp counselor. So if you're looking for something smaller, this is a great option. They only take up to 30 campers. It's your typical day camp. You do your fun activities. You have your daily schedule, swimming. And I love that they take the kids to the um, public library to sign up for the summer reading program. So. Which, which is another good option for parents because we know that kids like to you know learn and keep that brain working yes. during the summer. Yes. And the library is a good way to do that. Absolutely. Uh, how important is it for a parent to look at d different options that fit them and their kid because that's kind of the, the dance here. Sure. So, I mean, I think it's just the great thing is, is there's so many different options that your child can choose from. So, like you said, maybe one week they want to do something that is music related. Next week was sports. That's what I love about this camp guide is we have all of the options for your families that you can go and, hey, let's look for a dance camp. And you can click and show all the options in the city that um, offer dance camps or theater camps or um, music camps. So Another one of those options, art summer camp, correct? Yeah. So, Brightly Art Studio it's on the west side. She takes kids that are 5 to 11, ages 5 to 11, and has eight weeks of different forms of art. So if you want to sculpt, draw, paint, Brightly Studio has those options for your little artists. So many options and time to start looking at them. Kate, thank you now. so much. Yeah, <laughs> yes. Do it right now. Thank, <laughs> thank you so you. much. We appreciate having you.